hi guys welcome back to again in my channel and uh, today i'm just going to show you how to create book inside the cinema 4d using most plane so most plane is a special tool or uh, like you can say the powerful tool uh, made for uh, cinema 4d and uh, this is uh, the mo graph part right uh, which you can do the directly uh, the animations using this option okay so i'll start working with uh, this so first i'll create the page right so if this is the my page and uh, i would like to add material over here so before 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 i would uh, like to go for uh, this which is called uh, um, modifiers right so here i'm just going to add this spline wrap right so say drag and drop over this now you can see it's automatically wrap along with uh, like entire area okay so once you go here and uh, this is the modifier right and again we have to add uh, more graph this most spline right just add it and one more thing we have to do because here we want the splines right spline uh, wrap according to the most splines we want to add some uh, like reference so where it should uh, emit or where it should uh, like uh, release the pages so actually inside this in the spline wrap just say most plan and drag over this option okay so once it is done and uh, now here we want the animation uh, so before actually here i would uh, go for uh, this uh, simple uh, sorry not here in the object coordination and from here we will do the rotation into minus 90 degree okay and uh, book should be this side only okay so first uh, i want to add the material so that we can see the book size and the page we can maintain right so go here and uh, here you can add material directly so here i will add first the material and the image both so go to here and do double click then you will find this symbol uh, this is for the material and do double click now you can uh, go with color and inside the color you can the, add the texture which is this so load image and uh, add the book texture now just say uh, yes okay just close it and drag and drop over this now here i'm just going to maintain the width of this book because now it's scaled okay so go to here in the most plane and here you will find the simple option inside the length you can increase the width like this so if it is okay then stop it okay so if i say 250 or 260 is okay so 260 is good okay now just i want to do the animation and uh, i want to uh, like uh, make the duplicates of this page so simply inside this segment you can increase how many page you want so just i've increased the number of segments right and from here you can adjust this like <clears throat> uh, how many uh, like <clears throat> or uh, how much space you want in between the pages so directly from here you can uh, do like this so if it is going uh, like this okay so if you say uh, it is going this side so from here and uh, from the start frame I'm just going to create the animation of it so uh, like see go to here and first book will be like this okay so book will be like this and the starting frame is this and uh, just I enable the animation and after 50 frame just I want to say it to zero right so it's zero means it's going to uh, like see say the zero but uh, little bit we have to give the thickness over this book right so i'm saying it to four okay so now i've created the motion inside this now you can see book is turning like this 
yes okay so the thing is here i want uh the bend uh like gravity should be included right so for the gravity gravity purpose i will use the bend okay so go to in the first frame and from here we can enable the animation for again bend and uh, we can increase or uh, the decrease like this so if it, if it is like this right just say animate on after 50 frame or uh, see uh, over 14 uh, 40 it should be again like this okay now it is in 4 only yes so before just I want to add like this okay yes so this type of animation I want using this option so I can do this flip book animation inside this or like you want to create the animation whole animation for this simply uh, select this right and uh, go to in the first frame and from here we would go for this uh, rotation right so this is the plane and this is the mo graph so in the mo graph you would like to do the animation like this simply go to in the front side and from here you can do the animation like this way so if it is here like in the first frame just i want to uh, do the animation again most spline coordination right and uh, we can use the rotation so rotation is this okay so okay now it is in first frame after few frame like this okay say animation on yes okay so now it is happening and uh, the animation is good so i'll go back to here in the perspective window and we can check the animation whether it is working perfectly or not yes wow okay so like cover or anything you want to add you can add uh, if you go in the first frame of this simply add uh, another uh, like from the top you can add so this is the cover which I'm just going to add here okay like this but from the front we will have to adjust the height of this right so select the cube go to object and uh, from here we can decrease the height for this but this time I'll keep a bit smaller here okay so from here we can see this okay and one more thing just I want to do the animation for this so just say edit because from here just I want to see yes okay so control and drag you can make the duplicate of it like this way okay so once it is going this side yes and after this it should come this side right so uh, for this actually uh, you have to convert this as a poly right so you can adjust this and this is called transformation gizmo okay which is called this axis okay so just say again disable so that you can do the proper animation for this so now if it is in this side but 
now it's going to work in the specific direction direction right so from here we can adjust the position in B so select the cube go to in the coordination and enable this little bit it should be in the down right and say enabled okay and after this means if it is going this side okay and after this free oh select this this turn again like this okay so now you can see the rotation for this yes okay so actually we haven't added the keyframe for this in the first so go back to here and again check the animation why it was not happened so oh actually we have added the wrong key for this so go back to here and uh, yes like this we can do the animation it's just say enable and after 50 frame it should be again here yes okay now check the animation wow okay so this is the thing which you can uh, do directly here in the cinema 4d and uh, one more texture i want to add over here so for the texture just i want to say only the color this time okay and any color you would like to add it's okay and drag over and drop over this again okay so i hope everyone understood this how we can create this type of books okay or any other texture you want to add no problem you can add and uh, i explain how we can add the material also okay guys so thank you very much and we will meet again in the next session of mine and uh, so this was the book animation today okay bye bye thank you